What's going on gang? Paul Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Dino Core Ultra Debuster Tyranno. Now this set comes with one, two, three, four, five different dinos, technically six with this little dude, and a couple of accessories. Each one of these figures are in the set and it's from Korea. That's about all I know. And the reason I know so little is because there is virtually nothing on the internet that I've been able to find about this. I have spent literally seconds Googling trying to find out more about this series. There's a bunch of shows on YouTube. None of them are translated. And it's one of these things that's similar to Car Robot or Hello Carbot or some other Korean shows that are aimed at kids to sell toys and are cheaply produced. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the toys. We're going to go ahead and get started by taking a look at this little dude. I have no idea what the name is because he's not actually in the show that I've been able to see. He's just this little dinosaur that forms the helmet in the giant combined mode. He's pretty cool. Head is obviously, I mean, right here in the bottom of his mouth, so there is that. But just opening it a little bit looks like he has a tongue and he can open his mouth. Little cute piece of plastic. Next up is Brachio, which looks strangely similar to Brachio from Aka Ranger. Aka Ranger? Was that it? Yeah, I think it was Aka Ranger. Otherwise known as Power Rangers Dino Force here in the U.S. In fact, the head looks almost identical. It's a cool, giant Brachiosaurus. I was going to say Brontosaurus, but those don't actually exist. Or Apatosaurus, if you want to call it that. Unfortunately, he does kind of lean back a little bit. There's not much I could do about that other than just kind of futzing with the legs a little bit to have him more forward. He just fully extending the legs, you get him to lean back like that. It is a very regal looking giant robot, and you could just kind of fit the little dude on the back of him like this. It doesn't really peg in anywhere, unfortunately. So it is very cool, though, and it is pretty big. And yes, other Transformers can ride this bot. See what I mean? He's perfect size for a Voyager class Transformer. And next up is the Stegosaurus, and he really doesn't do much of anything except this button back here makes him launch his thing. And I said Stegosaurus. I meant Ankylosaurus. This is not a Stegosaurus. There is a Demetrodon version of this guy in the show and the toy line that performs the same exact function as this little Ankylosaurus. His but, or the, I should say, hammer at the end of his tail, does turn into a little Triceratops bot that is the head, or I should say helmet, of one of the giant robot modes. All of these figures together make more than one giant robot. Next up are the Sabertooth Tiger, and honestly, I have no idea what this one is supposed to be. Both of these bots are probably my favorite of the set, simply because you roll them back and let them go, and they both act as rollback toys. Whee! They also have another function, or another gimmick, I should say, in that both of them can launch missiles. Though getting the missiles into these little missile launchers or mortars is a little bit difficult. Quite a bit of force is required. Firing the missiles, however, is pretty easy. And they do go pretty darn far. And finally is the Tyranno Core, who is, well, the core. He does have an opening and closing mouth. It's pretty well put together. You do need two AAA batteries to make lights and sounds, and those are activated thanks to two of his accessories, one of which is the combining thing. I'm going to call this a combiner disc and an attack disc. Now, each one of these discs can attach to or slide into this unit which is meant to go on or peg into the summoning gimmick that the toy line comes with unfortunately you, you know you have to buy that separately it doesn't come with this set so little storage solution there now in the, any of the combined modes this dude can store one of the discs right back here it just slides into place and lights and sounds happen but before we get into that, let's go ahead and get into the first combined mode. The first combined mode is Brachio and Tyranno. For Brachio, we're going to rip his tail off and then slide the entire head forward. And then that will pop up from the body. Come to the back, fold up the rear legs, 
come to the front legs, fold them up and slide them forward, place the figure down, or I should say before you place the figure down, reach behind the legs or the chest of Brachio and flip out these blue sections and point them forward. And then we can put the whole unit down. Now we're ready for com combining. And one thing I did forget to do is one of the transformations has you spin the connector port around in, a, in 360 degrees. And I forgot to do that, so I had to fix that. So we take Tyranno, grab his head and the back, flip the back around, and then slide that into place. And then take the, well, what was the tail, plug that in to that side and point it forward. And take what was the head and plug that in to the side of Tyranno and point that forward. And this is literally the first mode. I don't know, kind of reminds me of something. I don't know. Don't know what that is at all. Couldn't tell you. Though it does roll freely, which is cool. I do appreciate that. Yeah, what what possibly could this remind me of? Okay then, let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. Take the front, flip up his little feet like that. Flip the blue parts back. Stand the figure up. Split the legs. Push the arms down, flip the tail up and flip it around to form an arm, flip up the head, and then take the tail of the Tyranno mode, flip that little helmet part out, and drop it into place. And there we go. This is the first mode. It is very simple, but pretty cool. So we have Brachio forming the arms, the legs, and then the Tyranno forming the torso. Posability is the exact same as the Super Sentai figure. It's actually pretty neat. I like it. I do like it. I think it's, well, it's fine. Now, the next mode is actually just using Stego and these guys. So for Stego, we will take his feet, fold them up, and then pull off his helmet, extend his tail, pop the original helmet off, take the new D Stego helmet, flip out the tail, and drop it into place, remove an arm, and flip the tail around, and then we can place this back on his butt, like that. And we could place the original tail back, and then attach Stego as an arm. I keep calling him Stego! Ankylo! Sorry, Ankylo! It's an Ankylosaurus, not a Stegosaurus. And there we go! This is his next mode, which I like to call Puncher Mode, because punching happens. The head sculpt is cool. I like the new helmet. It works. It's it's nifty. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop in the attack thing, and that slides in to this little slot back here, and you want to make sure that these little tabs are pointing down, because we'll get some lights and sounds that are kind of lame, actually. I'm assuming that was the attack sound. I don't speak any Korean, so I couldn't tell you. All right, so now we're going to get into the final combination. And this one's a little bit more complex than what we had before us. So first, take the tail off like that, come down to the feet, flip these blue sections around and snap them into the gold feet before. So we're effectively flipping out some shoes. Come to the back and take the Brachiosaurus head with the screw holes pointing towards the inside of the legs. Take that into place here, flip it up, snap it into place, and then do the same thing with what was the tail. Except we can, there we go. We can flip this down if we wanted to, we don't have to. Then we could split open these sections for toes. Come up to the top section and turn it 180 degrees around like that. So he's already taller, and then get to combining sections up here. First of which, we're going to take purple, turn it around, fold down the mortar, 
and plug it into his right shoulder. And then take Tiger, do the same thing, flip down the mortar, pick it into his left shoulder. Then take Ankylo and split him apart, flip out the fists, and then these sections will peg into either side of the mortars, like so. And then we can attach the Tricera Punger to the back there. And I might have that backwards, actually. Nope, I did have it right. And finally, we take this dude, flip open his tail, flip down the giant robot head, and this will slide right on top of that head, like so. And here we have D-Buster Tyranno. I'm sorry, Ultra D-Buster Tyranno. The overall look of the thing is freaking awesome. I love the look of it. It has a very Power Rangers vibe without being Super Sentai. It's a really, really neat idea and executed well. The plastic feels incredibly good, and the overall look of the figure is just cool. It does have posability forward and back, in and out, and the legs are a little posable, though he does not have any knees that I've been able to find at any point. Lights and sounds are activated by a different disc. We will put on this disc. And we can just reattach the tail back here if we want. I mean, you don't have to, but I like to do it anyway. So let's see what that makes noise of. Yeah, that was good English. So, yep, it's got lights and sounds. It works pretty well. I wish there was a way to use the missiles in this mode. Unfortunately, there isn't. The only other, oh, and the only other thing that opens and closes its mouth is Ankylo. None of the others do besides Tyranno. I just wish I could find more information about this set. There are other figure sets, though they are practically the same thing. One set comes with, I believe, these two guys. Oh, I'm sorry. It actually does come with completely different figures, but they all pretty much combine the same way, except two of them combine where these guys, instead of pointing out, they're pointing straight up. So there is that. So gang, I hope you've enjoyed this video review. This is something different. And I got to give a shout out to um, the guy on Twitter who told me about this. So uh, his name is going to appear right here. Big thanks, dude. Pick this up over at Amazon.com. This set is not cheap at all. In fact, anything from Korea is expensive. Like Tobot, Carbot, everything is expensive but some of these korean shows have started showing up on netflix so hopefully we'll be getting toys here in the u.s of stuff like this so if this dino core series comes to netflix we'll probably get these toys so gang as always i'm bolt matrix asking you to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you next time